Kaboom! Yes, guys, welcome to the channel. It's my Made Simple Attack strategy series for Town Hall 13. And who's on the army camp today? Yes, it's Gary, the Golem, and some friends. And over here, we've got some super wizards, which makes a quite delightful attack strategy. We're going to check some replays out in just a moment where I'll show you how to use it. Before we do, guys, let's meet the troops. So your army is going to consist of 12 super wizards and 6 golems. Spells are going to be 8 earthquake spells, 2 free spells, 1 rage spell, and then a poison spell to sprinkle on top. Clan Castle troops, 2 yetis, a valk, and Bob the Barbarian. And we're normally going to be using the log launcher or the flame flinger. Now, guys, we're going to jump into our first replay in just a moment. Before we do, just a quick reminder, on this channel, we've got something called a creator code. A creator code is where you can help support your favorite content creator in-game by using their code before making any purchases. It's easy to do. There's a C emblem in the top right-hand corner of the shop. If you click on that, a little box comes up, and our code for this channel is code MOOSE. Any support would be absolutely amazing, and you do need to renew it once a week. Anyway, guys, let's jump into our first replay now. So through the clouds... We go, and yes, it's one of these nasty sort of box bases with different compartments. You have to decide where you're going to attack. Now, we do have these earthquake spells. It makes things easy. You can open up compartments. So I would say the first stage of this attack strategy would be using the earthquake spells to open up those compartments. There we go, guys. It's just one less thing to do later on. Use those earthquake spells nice and early if you can, and then send in the main army. You've got loads of golems, loads of super wizards. What I would suggest is if you do need to funnel, maybe one golem on the left, one golem on the right with a couple of super wizards, then the rest of the troops in the centre. Golems first, then your heroes, then the log launcher with the Grand Warden on ground mode. Of course, I like to use the Grand Warden ability nice and early. And then what you want to do as well is have a look at the battlefield and decide where you want to send in your royal champion. She is so important to getting three stars. So I've sent her in on the right hand side to take out that single target Inferno. The town hall has just been taken out and we've used a rage spell on the left hand side but you might want to keep it to take out the town hall. Sometimes the yetis need that rage spell. Not on this base though, the log launcher did loads of damage. Royal champion on the right hand side, she's doing really well taking out that single target inferno please we've used a free spell to help her out as well and yeah guys this is looking pretty good i think golems and super wizards is a fantastic combination it's pretty easy to use you've got those earthquake spells to open up the base use the log launcher as well to damage the town hall and yeah guys i think this is definitely one of the best town hall 13 attack strategies i've used now i'm hoping you can uh, unlock oh what's that what's happening there there's a yeti mite bouncing towards the expo, and the expo says, no, not today. Will this expo cost us three stars? I don't know. I don't think so, guys. We've got about 100 troops. No, we haven't. We've got one, two. Let me try and count the archers. Three, four. I can't. Uh, say uh, 17 troops left, I think. And uh, they're breaking through the wall. Super wizard on the right. That's Steve, the super wizard. I haven't seen him for a while. Steve, how are you? He got taken out. Uh, but there we go, guys. There we go. What a wonderful replay. And uh, if you do like the replays, if you do want to see plenty more attack strategies, please do hit that subscribe button and notification bell and join the Samus army. Uh, we're at almost 115,000 subscribers. Anyway, this was uh, in a recent, I think, friendly war or maybe the Clan War League. I can't remember exactly, but we're taking on a Town Hall 14 base. I felt, I thought, yeah, I felt a bit brave and I said, why not? We can do it. So let's see how we... How we get on taking on this Town Hall 14 base. So Gollum on the right, Gollum on the left with a couple of Super Wizards. That's our funnel. I've also sent in the Queen on the left-hand side to help out. Then the rest of the Gollums in the centre with the Log Launcher, with the Grand Warden, and then the rest of the Super Wizards in just a moment. And guys, that's a magnificent funnel. I don't think I've ever created a funnel quite as... No, it's not that great, but it's okay. Get ready with your Poison Spell. Never forget to use your Poison Spell. Now, I've got to be honest, guys. You're not going to be able to three-star a Town Hall 14 base that's almost maxed out. No, it's going to be very difficult. To, to, ma to take out a max Town Hall 14 base, I think you need to use some sort of blizzard attack with an air attack and maybe get a little bit lucky. Or bats, maybe, single target infernos. But this attack strategy is strong. So in Clan War League, in war, if you need a two-star offer... Uh, Town Hall 14 base is definitely possible with this attack strategy. And uh, we're going to try and get, you know, 70% I'd be happy with. I always say 70% is a good percentage. 80% is a bit too much. 60, not enough. 70, perfect. So we're at 66%. As soon as we get to 70%, I say to the troops, guys, just uh, rest a bit. 
you know, just go home now. It's OK. You don't need to get any more than 70%. I know you could three-star this base easily, but we don't want to. 69%. One more percent, please. There we go. You can all go home now. Nothing more to see here. 70%. Thank you very much. So anyway, guys, I really do hope you've enjoyed the video today. Remember to hit that subscribe button and notification bell. And remember, you can use code Moose in game to help support the channel if you'd like to. Thanks for watching today. And remember to watch out for tornado traps in real life. They can be dangerous.